Welcome back to Retro Rewire. My name is JJ. We're back at the Surugaya in Osaka, Japan. And we're going to hit things off straight away right into the hardware. And the hardware offerings at this location were not too bad. They weren't as、uh, heavy as the you know, Super Potato and whatnot. But look at this controller, that ASCII pad for the Dreamcast. Beautiful condition. And here's another ASCII pad. And yeah, controllers. Like, look at this, this Nikon. Now, if you've ever dealt with one of those, buttons one and two are so soft and they're so comfy. And we have the Taito Train controller. All, all sorts of controllers. I do like these controllers. I have a few controllers myself. I do like collecting them, especially these odd ones. Look at this Konami one. Look at all those buttons. My goodness. More buttons than. <laughs> I don't know, but here we have this Hori pad for、uh, the N64, and then we have the Super Famicom、uh, carrying case. This is pretty neat, and this one would go well in a, in, a, in a game room. And then we have the PS3 Fat coming in at 29,800 yen. That was a great machine. And then we have the 3DO, the FZ1, next to a Neo Geo X. Now, the Neo Geo X has been going up in price lately. We have a Duo R for $28,000 and then a Neo Geo controller for $7,500. And of course, it has the cracked、uh, joystick ball. We have the、uh, a couple of Virtua Sticks, twin Virtua Sticks. Look at that. That's a great controller, by the way. And then we have some Saturns. That's a, that's a, that's a really pretty looking Sega Saturn. And then we have the transparent N64 for $7,800 yen and a PC Engine. Actually, two of them. And that wasn't too bad of a price. And then we have the Mega Drive 2. Although the, the white PC engine only supports RF、uh, output. $15,000 for the gold N64. And then we have a boxed Dreamcast for $10,500. A few clone systems there amongst the PS1. And look at this old school goodness the Master System. And more、uh, Mega Drives. And then Sega Saturn, we have a trio there. What else do we got here? Look at this. Look at the condition of this box here for this、uh, CD ROM,、uh, ROM ROM. And then another Mega Drive 2. Actually, was that the one I showed before? No, that's a different one. I do like the original Mega Drive. Look at that 16 bit on the original Mega Drive. Then a top loader NES for 8,000 yen next to this funky GameCube. I think this one is a bit of a miss. Not really feeling that color scheme there, but back to this guy. Look at this thing. It's just in great condition. 23,000 yen. But who knows? I wonder if it's sun faded, but if the box is any indication, it's probably pretty good. But we have what is this?、Uh, Dreamcast light gun. And then this is just a little sign saying to ask the staff because they do have a little bit of a crude security on those pegs. And then we have this showcase. Look at that. A Game Gear for $5,800. And a Neo Geo. What is that?、Uh, controller for $6,800 yen. And then we have, I believe that's the PCFX or is that the Duo? I think that's the PCFX. Duo RX would probably be more expensive, the controller. And then they had, a, they had a wireless PC Engine controller back there, which I'm kind of curious about. And then we have the 3DO Soldier Pad. Great for piano players. And then another Game Gear for $11,200, so that one works.、And、then we have the little Robo、uh, Famicom dude. Don't know too much about that one. And then another Game Gear here. I think this is the Game Gear that I showed off earlier, but just kind of zooming in so you can see what kind of potential issues it will have. And then the PC Engine. But yeah, look at that. Look at that wireless controller 24,800 yen. Man, oh man. I did pick up that Avenue Pad 6 for 2,800, and then down below they had some PC Engine controllers for 1,800. And then here is another showcase, just kind of mixed in with、uh, handhelds, clone consoles, all sorts of goodness. And then look at this in the junk section a Super CD ROM ROM for 10,000, and the original ROM ROM for half that. These are junk items, so they could be an issue. But let's go ahead and check out some games. Let's go ahead and do the PC Engine. Freaking love that little system. It has proven itself, it's worthy. What do we have here? Bonk 2 for $5,800. Vigilante. And、uh, what is that other one there? Final.、Uh, kind of missed it, but. 
quite a not not too bad of a selection here uh, of uh, PC Engine uh, games, both in the Hue card as well as in the CD format. What's that? Saint Dragon, Dragon Saber for five thousand eight hundred. That's actually a great game, and it's also available on the PlayStation as well as the arcade. I'm not sure if it's a part. It might be on the Switch as a part of the Hamsters uh, arcade archives. But here we are on the on the CD-ROM side of things. We have Forgotten Worlds for three thousand yen. I wonder how this port compares to the Mega Drive port, which that is also on the Capcom Collections uh, compilation disc on the what is it on sixth generation consoles and then we have snatcher here i guess that might be the best version of snatcher and then cho onaki something like that funky game but look at this this will give you a sense of how big the gaming section is here look at that and it was a couple of um i, I believe it was three three aisles almost four aisles but here we are with the with the mega drive look at that hard driving and uh virtual racing hard driving I have that for the uh, for the Sega Saturn. It's kind of a guilty pleasure that one. I paid 50 yen for it. And then we have the Thunder Force games. What else do we have? What else uh, catches the attention here? Quite a bit actually. We have Altered Beast. Some sports titles. Pull some of these out so we can see here. What do we got? 2,200 yen. I do like that cover too. That would be a great poster. And then there's Forgotten Worlds. Look at that. That's an even better cover than the PC Engine version just because there's more real estate. Look at this. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I used to play that back in the arcade and I remember it had like the, the funky controller for making it easier to kind of maneuver the character around. I used to play it at a convenience store uh, by the name of TikTok. Oh man, that was back in the glorious early 90s. What else do we have here? Fantasia with Mickey Mouse. I wonder how this one is. And honestly, I had no clue that this thing uh, existed. It's always nice to, to see new Disney games. And then we have another one here that has a, a pretty cool cover. Pretty cool cover art, actually. Kind of reminds me of Makoto from uh, Third Strike there. But I think that's a dude. Not really sure. What else do we have? Uh, Fatal Fury there. Garo. Gain Ground. Kind of hard to see there with the reflection. But then we have Aladdin. Look at the cover to Aladdin. And then here we go. World of Illusion. Castle of Illusion. Quackshot. All sorts of good stuff here on the, on the Mega Drive. And then there's this. I've seen this game before. I wonder what this is about. But that'll have to wait because we're going to take a look at some Sega Saturn. There was a few, there's a few Mega, Mega Drive uh, CD games down below that. There we have Fighters History Mega Mix, the Falcom Classics, which is actually not too bad. And those games are definitely playable considering they're old school RPGs. But a lot of the menus are in English. But not the biggest uh, Sega Saturn, um, I guess, the avail you know offerings. But there is, um, even though the, the section is small, there's a lot of heavy hitters here, like that funky-looking Gex cover. The Japanese version of Gex. Look at this cover. So funny-looking. And for a while, this game was actually kind of expensive, but it kind of went down in price. And then we have Vampire Savior. Wizardry, what do we have there? Uh, six and uh, maybe seven. And then uh, X-Men vs. Street Fighter. That's a great game. And then the Makaimura Collection for 4,000 yen. Not too bad there. And then we have Golden Axe, The Duel. I have that and I still haven't beat it because the last boss is so cheap. And what is this? Parodius, Sexy Parodius. And then Tusk. Every time I see this, I think of like Adventure Island because it's the same uh, artist. Very famous guy, I always forget his name. <laughs> and then we have uh, Legend of Oasis or the Story of Thor, I believe it's known in uh, as it's known in Japan. And all sorts of other great titles for the legendary Sega Saturn. Like this here, what is this? Oh yeah, Hat Trick Hero, the Saturn edition for 1,000 yen. I believe that's also on the PS2 compilation discs as well as the arcade. 
And what do we have? What else do we have here? Da, 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 da. Strikers 1945. That's a great little shooter by Saikyo. There's a couple Capcom fighters. This is a fighting game by Data East, but I don't know too much about it. Seems kind of funky. And then we have Space Harrier, a part of the Sega Ages collection. And then what do we have? Uh, Gradius, Gradius, Gradius. <laughs> so many ways. And then Afterburner. Let's go ahead and make our way into the Dreamcast section. I'm pretty much at peak Dreamcast. And the majority of, of the games that I have on the Dreamcast are just fighting games. I love fighting games. I'm not one of those uh, collectors that needs to have every single game. I just want the games that I'll be playing. And the Dreamcast is perfect for that because it's just a bunch of arcade titles. A bunch of quick uh, pick up and play type of games. Which is perfect when you're once you once you get older. <laughs> and then let's make our way into the PlayStation 1 section, which was actually quite sizable. And then look at this game. I have no idea what this is, but it's kind of a intriguing uh, cover art there. And who knows? It could be good. And then we have, uh, what do we have? Sailor Moon here. Kid Station. And then we have Duke Nukem. Look at the Japanese cover. Oh man, it's been years since I played Duke Nukem, uh, those original ones. Then we have Vandal Hearts. I do like the this dragon. Look at this cover art here, or this back, back heart, I guess. Then we have Tomb Raider 2 for 100 yen. Never actually played this one besides the demo. Then we have uh, Kane Vampire, or Legacy of Kane. It's another great game. And then we have Fist. Haven't played this one, but I'm kind of curious. And then I actually picked this one up, Capcom Generations 3. I don't know why. I think it was the only one that I'm missing. That's probably why, but I'm not going to play it. So that was kind of a little bit of uh, buyer's remorse there. Not sure what this mecha game is, but... Could be interesting. And what do we have? Hermy Hopperhead. Look at this. This was like an early launch title. I wonder if this got an American release or a North American release. It seems interesting, but I don't know. And then we have this uh, incredible tunes, Makai Mura. Now this actually has some pretty cool remixed music. I do like that. And then Geometry Duel. And there's another one in the back there. That's kind of an interesting. Uh, that's kind of an interesting name, Geometry Duel. And then something league, Doki something league, some baseball type of game. I don't know. And then Tom and Jerry in Housetrap. This is new to me. I haven't heard of this one before. I do like the Tom and Jerry cartoons, so that, that one could be could be interesting. And then we have some PlayStation 2 titles, quite a bit actually. So let's take a look. Look at this. The Thing. Apparently this is canon and I freaking love The Thing. I haven't played the game yet, but I believe it picks up uh, where the movie left off. Then we have Metal Slug Complete and look at that. It includes 1 through 6. Although, when I played that one, uh, at least the North American release, it has a little bit of uh, input delay. And I'm not usually sensitive to that. And then we have another copy of the thing. I should have picked that up. Huge fan of the thing. I love that movie. And we have Dance Dance Revolution Supernova 1 and 2. Mega Man X Command Mission. I used to have that for the GameCube. Never finished it. It's probably worth like crazy money now. And we got Shin Megami Tensei. That, this game has so many different covers, I swear. What do we have? And then Akira Pinball. On this trip, I saw it for the first time, and then I ended up seeing it again, so maybe it's more common. Then I had, uh, was uh, thinking it was. And then we have uh, Third Stri Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Love this game. Then we have the Zero Anthology Collection for 3,200 yen. Definitely worth it. Although, one thing I hate about the PS2 releases is sometimes they have like that wonky 480i uh, output. And we have KOF uh, 2, Maximum Impact, and then the Vampire Collection. I used to have that, but it just had that weird resolution, and I couldn't I couldn't stand it, so I got rid of it. And the King of Fighters 94, Rebout, 2003, Samurai Showdown 5, and 6. And I forget the name of this. This is like a famous little anime, that wrestling one. Then we have Fantasy Zone, 
next to that Virtual Cop 2 and then a couple other game or a few other games up above. But let's take a closer look at Virtual Cop uh, Rebirth actually. It includes part 1 and 2. And this is one that's uh I'll eventually pick up. This had an interesting cover. I have no idea what this is. Uh, I think it's Echo Knight. I think. And I hear I hear a lot of great things about that. That particular game. I think what was the make? Uh, from Software? Actually, that's from Software. I'm not sure what that was then. And then Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver 2. And it, that was kind of a funky slipcover. I wonder if that was just like a demo disc. All sorts of great titles on the on the PlayStation 2. Like Vitamin Z Boys. Look at this. <laughs> I see these fellas all over now. And then we have Gauntlet Dark Legacy. I actually saw this at Super Potato and uh, kind of piqued my interest a bit. And now we're going to make our way into the showcase. Look at this. Famicom and Super Famicom. Let's get it going. We have our type for 5,200 yen, which I recently saw that and it was a little bit lower priced where I saw it. I think I saw it at, an, at another Surugaya, but around Tokyo. It was like 1,100 or yeah, 1,100 yen cheaper. And then Ghostbusters for the Famicom. That game's kind of pricey. And I, I've see, I, I see it quite a bit, and it's usually in the showcase. Haven't played it myself. But what else do we have here? We have a gold card. Look at that. 43000 for Punch-Out. And 3600 for Castlevania 3. That's probably like the lowest I've seen it in a long time. We got DuckTales. What is that? Dragon Fighter. And all sorts of goodness. But look at this. Let's do the, the sweeping panning shot here. Look at all this retro gaming goodness. And there's actually more display cases down the way, which we'll also take a look at. But here are Game Gear titles. We have Bare Knuckle 2, Chuck Rock, Bare Knuckle, another Sailor Moon game. And then uh, just all sorts of other very uh, virtual boy games. We got Jack Bros there. What else do we have here? Duh, 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 duh. Super Famicom titles, yes. I was drawing a blank for some reason. Uh, lots of Sailor Moon, actually. What's the deal? I used to watch that every uh, morning before school. But here we have uh, Final Fight 2 for 2,700 yen. We have Chomakai Mura. Uh, and then Mega Drive. All sorts of Mega Drive goodness. It's kind of funny how some Mega Drive games came in those tiny, tiny boxes. But we have Monster World 4. That's a great game. Available for almost all platforms now. And then Sonic and Knuckles. Look at this. 32,000 yen and the other one was 41,500 yen. That's freaking expensive. I had no idea that was the going rate on that game. And then there's a Ghostbusters there back there. Got Shinobi for 22,300. And then Sonic 3 for 8,800 yen. And now we have some more Super Famicom goodness. Look at all this. And then N64, what do we have? Uh, 4,000 yen there for Sin and Punishment. What else? Oh, Gauntlet Legends, 3,600. I need to get that. I want to get. I want to get the one that was released on Dreamcast. And we have Castlevania 64 for 4,700. Rockman Dash, which I recently picked up. And then we have Sin and Punishment. Although Rockman Dash is definitely, I think, better on the on the PS1. It just seems smoother. Then Doom 64 for 8,200 in the box. And then look at that, more Gauntlet Legends. It's all about Gauntlet Legends and Sailor Moon. My goodness. And then we have Knights of the Round with its awesome cover. 24,500 yen. My goodness. I have it on Switch and I think I'm good with that version. Fighting Cup. I believe this was released also in America under North America under a different name. I can't remember though. But yeah, all sorts of all sorts of great stuff here. I think I was here like four hours at this store. Just so much to see, so much to see. We got Rockman and Bass there. They actually have two, two copies of that. And then we have some Famicom boxed copies here. What do we got? Salamander there. That one has uh, the cool transparent um, cartridge. We got Dragon Ball. And I have no idea what all this other stuff is, but 
What do we have in the back here? 18,000 for Castlevania 3. And then 13,800 for Holy Something. I, 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 I've I seen that game uh, recently, too, at a different place. What do we got? A Ninja Guide in there for 4,500. I believe that's part two. And then some Disk System games. Not many, but they did have some. And then Game Boy Advance. What do we have? Mother 1, 2, and 3 in the back. Uh, what do we have? Uh, Mickey Mouse uh, Mystic Quest. For 7,500 yen. And then they had the Goemon Collection 1 and 2. Although I'm not really... I don't know about the, the Game Boy Advance Collection because the music is just kind of butchered. And those games are really have awesome music. We have Darius R for 19,000 yen. Load Runner, look at that, 19,800 yen. F-Zero Climax for 32,800 yen. What's the deal? Uh, Gunstar Heroes 2 for 14,500 yen. That's actually a cool game. Uh, what else do we have? A couple of Rockman Worlds there up front and center. Come on, where's Sailor Moon? She's going to be... Oh, Street Fighter 2 in the box for 6,000 yen. I actually want that for the Game Boy. And then Crazy Climber, they also had the Wii version. That was in the previous episode. For the Wonder Swan. That's for the Wonder Swan. Wow. And then R-Type in the back there for 13,000 yen. Right above uh, Gunpei EX for 8,800 yen. What else do we have here? We had a Moomin game there for the color. And those Oni games, I wonder what those Oni games are all about. And then Hunter x Hunter and Hunter cross Hunter. I'm not sure how to say that. And then Neo Geo Pocket. Look at this. Actually, we're going to make our way into the Neo Geo goodness. I'm currently on a Neo Geo craze. And now is the time. It's always been the time. The future is now. What do we have here? Baseball uh, All-Stars there. World Heroes 2. Garo Tensetsu, how much is that? Usually that one's pricey. I do want to get Fatal Fury 3, Garo 3. What do we have? KOF 95, Magician Lord. I'm not sure what the price on that one is, but that's probably, that could potentially be the most expensive game here. Uh, at least within the, the Neo Geo lot. And then we have some Wii games, Wii U, PS Vita, GameCube. Look at that. They have a uh, Metroid Prime 1 and 2. They have a Biohazard Collector's Box for 42,000 yen. I wonder what's in that thing. Pokemon XD. That's a that's a heavy hitter. Even some PlayStation 3 games. Yes. Nothing that Well, here we have what PSP games. But nothing that really calls out to my attention, honestly. PS1 titles. We have Strider, Motor Tune 2, R Types 1 and 2. Look, they even have Gex there for 12,000 yen. It's even more expensive than the, the Sega Saturn version. We have the, what is it, Castlevania Chronicles, Thunder Force 5 for 7,700 yen. And then up in the front, we have Harmful Park. <laughs> Harmful Park for 70, 77,000 yen. And then there's the Gex there. Amongst some other titles, which I'm not really familiar with, but here we go. In the Hunt. I think that's... Uh, I didn't get the price there. Dang it. But then we have The Adventures of Little Ralph for 50,000 yen. Mad Stalker. All sorts of goodness. Then we have our PS2 title. Look at that. Outrun 2 SP. 30,000 yen. But that one also has like uh, exclusive tracks and it runs even better than the North American uh, 2006 counterpart. We have Ibarra there for 32,000 yen. But look at that. Outrun 2 SP. I think the Xbox version is even more expensive. Then we have Winds of Thunder for 11,000. Next to Dracula X. We'll have a closer look at those in a bit. We have Air Zonk. And look at this. This Metal Storm or something there. Kind of a funny 80s music video looking cover. Next to Groove on Fight. And then what do we have? 12,000 there for uh, Ninja Gaiden on the PC engine. But here we go. Dracula X for 15,000. There is some uh, difficulty there with it, was what they're saying. Kiki Kai Kai for 19,000. And then a couple of copies of Splatterhouse. 
And then what do we have? Drauga. Uh, and there's that ninja guide in there for 12,000 yen. And Super Valis 4. And look at that Gun Lord for 10,000. I think that's the Dreamcast uh, version there. Yeah. Look at all this Sega goodness. And then we have Image Fight and uh, an X Multiply for 42,800 yen. Wow, wow, wow. And then uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Then the, they have another one uh, that has the online component, which is 14,000 yen. Although that's uh, the online of uh, Dreamcast is long and gone. What else? What else do we have here? All sorts of greatness. Just so many titles. Look at that. They have Wolf Fang for 12,800 yen. In the back, they have uh, Radiant Silver Gun for 28,800 yen. Cotton 2. And then Wooly Wombat for 5,700. And look at that. Groove on Fight got a PlayStation release. Crazy. And then they have the Panzer Dragoon bundle with 1 and 2. And there's Radiant Silver Gun. That Panzer, Dr Panzer Dragoon bundle was 9,000. And they even have Dracula X there for the Saturn uh, next to Street Fighter Alpha 3. Metal Slug, Outrun, Power Drifter, so much good stuff there. But is it worth it to you for the going, the asking prices? And then look at that. Oh, look at that. They have Shin Megami Tensei the 9 in a special edition. And then Mushihime Sama, great game. And look at that, the Outruns. These are just, that's just the vanilla Outrun for, uh, for the regular Xbox. And back to the, the Saturn Gun Force there. Elevator action returns. So much goods. And, you know, pretty much everything I want for the Saturn is going to be locked away behind the case. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the Surugaya in Osaka, Japan. There's definitely more to come, so consider subscribing, hitting the bell, all that good stuff. And again, my name is JJ. Thank you for watching Retro Rewire, and I hope to see you all soon. Ciao.